Today, on Every Burger in Vegas, we're eating at Wolfgang Puck in the MGM. Wolfgang Puck is famous for his California cuisine, that fresh flavor, that nice vegetable flavor. I'm hyped to try these burgers. He's got a burger on the menu. I want to see it. I want to taste it. Let's go inside. This is every burger in Vegas. Alex Berman. Great. Off the bat, great vibe in here. We're in the middle of the casino. There's no wall or anything separating us, which I think is a pretty interesting vibe, right? You're not really coming here to escape. You've got that energy of the casino, and I think the food might be good, I don't know. I've had some good luck with Wolfgang Puck, his pizzas specifically. He is the inventor of the California-style pizza. So if you know like restaurants like California-style Pizza Kitchen, they're all trying to be like Wolfgang Puck. He's one of the original celebrity chefs on the Food Network, and he's actually one of the top 10 richest chefs in the world. I'm gonna guess, if I just had to guess by the price and the reputation of the owner, this could be anything from an eight, a nine, or maybe even a 10. You know, maybe it's gonna go the opposite way, maybe they drop the ball, but I think this could be a strong one. So I'm really hyped to be here. Let's find it out. How is the Wolfgang Pucks in the MGM? Here's your mission for the week. You know we love Vegas YouTubers here, and one of our favorite ones is Bill and Lisa's Food Reviews. So if you wanna help grow the channel, you can do me a quick favor. Go on over to Bill and Lisa Food Reviews channel and find their latest video and comment, hey, when are you gonna eat a burger with every burger? If we can get that collab going, then maybe in the next video, you'll see Bill and Lisa getting filmed by Terrence for the ultimate Vegas collab. So go on over to their channel, leave that comment, hey, when are you gonna eat a burger with every burger? And I'll see you in a minute eating a burger from Wolfgang Puck in the MGM. I love these high-end restaurants because they're always so courteous, so calm, you know, like the waiter saw us filming something, he didn't want to come over and interrupt it, and I just love that, man. I love that attention to detail. What are you guys today? Can we get the, the burger, grilled prime burger? How would you like your burger cut through? Medium rare? Burger medium rare, gotcha. Right? Burger secure. Here's my Wolfgang Puck impersonation. Hello, my name is Wolfgang Puck, California. Hi, I'm Wolfgang Park, chef and restaurateur. That's all I got. Here we are, the cheeseburger from Wolfgang Puck's in the MGM. Let's remove that deadly spear right away. It's tall. We'll smash it down a little bit. Let's take a bite. Let's take a taste. Every burger in Vegas, Wolfgang Puck. Okay, off the bat. It's very bready, thick bun. Let me take one more bite. It's really falling apart in my hands right now. Complete devastation of this burger. And I have an idea as to what the review is going to be. But before I can give it, you know what we have to do. Let's tear this baby apart. Let's start with the bun. This is the thing holding the entire burger back. It's dry, it's not well crusted on the bottom, hasn't been well toasted on the bottom, and it's pretty stale, at least a day old, if not even two days old. And that's what's causing all the dryness on this burger. Hopefully that bun didn't stop it from getting the 10, let's see. Lettuce is crunchy, crispy, well shopped for. Then the tomatoes. Tomatoes are fresh, organic, green, California style, you know, just like Wolfgang Puck, he's known for popularizing that California vegetable in the 1970s. All about freshness, all about those fresh veggies. Pickles aren't sour, they're sweet pickles, but again, fresh house-made pickle. Then the cheese. Cheese is a Gruyere, which a lot of the high-end burgers here in Vegas do use Gruyere cheese, which I like, I like the flavor of it. Then onto the meat, perfect medium rare. And then the bottom bun. It's a little soggy, but honestly the top bun was so stale that it really helped with that. I'm saddened because they've taken this burger 
that could have been a 10, and slapped this bun on it that dropped the rating down multiple points. And I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. On to final thoughts. Wolfgang Puck, great chef, great restaurant. It seems like everything inside the burger was perfect. The flavor of the cheese was perfect. Everything was great. But man, bake your bread in-house. Or if you do bake your bread in-house, which you probably do, you know, bake it fresh. Ideally, as close to the serving of the burger as possible. You know, you don't want to be giving people these real stale buns, bro. It doesn't work. If they want a 10, they just need to work on their bun game. You know, get it crusted. Maybe get a demi-gloss going and stick the bun in there. Really get a nice grill going on that bun. Cook the bun a little fresher. Don't serve day-old bread. Throw the day-old bread out. Maybe throw out even the six-hour-old bread. And if they're able to do that, then that 10 out of 10 is on lock. So I'm gonna give Wolfgang Puck in MGM. Do not recommend. There are better burgers around here that are around the eight out of 10 mark. There are better burgers around here that are 10 out of 10s. You know, if you wanna eat at a celebrity chef restaurant and you wanna have a great burger, go on over to Bardot. Bardot is great, that's a 10. But this, as it is right now, this is not. Wolfgang, get it together, bro. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to smash that like button to encourage this type of content on YouTube. Subscribe, because we are eating every burger in Las Vegas. Make sure to do that mission, leave that comment, and if you wanted to, you can grab some of this Every Burger merch. You can subscribe to the Patreon to help support the mission of eating every burger in Vegas. This channel costs about a thousand bucks a month to sustain. We're eating a lot of burgers. We're get, doing a lot of stuff. So if you want to help everything grow, make sure you're on that Patreon. And if I see you in person and you're on the Patreon, I have to buy you a burger regardless of the cost. You want to go here? We'll make it happen. So make sure you're on the Patreon. You'll see me out in Vegas. We can all make this happen. For every burger in Vegas, I am every burger in Vegas. I'll see you later. Enjoy your burger. Let's go into the price. The price for this burger was $24, which puts it right in line with the Holsteins, puts it right in line with Bardot. For those prices, either of those choices are better than this. So, $8 tip on this 26 bucks, and that is $34.01. Not bad. Next week on Every Burger in Vegas. Feels good to be a worker. Got the sun.